All right, the next one um, is solid colors with blend if, which I hate how that sounds because I find it super overwhelming. I don't know, like it just sounds formulaic and crazy. So uh, I'm gonna try to explain it nice and simply. And so what we're going to do is we're going to color tone by creating individual layers of color. And then we're gonna blend it into our photo. So this is what's closest to split toning in Lightroom, but a lot more control because I can affect where it's hitting on the face. Whereas in Lightroom, it just, it just does it. So I'm gonna create a blank layer. It's an empty layer. It's the little uh, icon to the left of the trash can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by creating a color that I want in the shadows. What you want in the shadows totally depends on your purpose. Uh, this, for the matrix, right, this is where you'd pick a green. A lot of times for like, uh, if you look at Annie Leibovitz photos, it's got like kind of greenish yellow. That like, the, you see that toning a lot in, in her portrait work. Um, I'm going to select, I'm gonna select something in the teal range, okay? Cause I know I like that teal orange. So let's, let's see how it looks. Um, I'm gonna grab that teal orange and I'm just gonna paint it. So I've got a solid layer. So far, so good, but weird looking and we'll, we'll fix it. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer. And I will talk about blend modes later, but basically what it does is it changes how a layer interacts with the layers below it. So right now it's solid. I wanna start seeing this color like interacting with the highlights and shadows of the photo. I want, I want it to actually tone it. So the blend mode that I'm gonna to go to right now is soft light. So what it does is you can see with soft light, it applies this color across the entire image, but I don't want it to do that. I want it just to apply to the shadows. So I need to control how it just applies to the shadows. So I'm going to right click on this layer and select blending options. I'm gonna choose how it blends with this photo. Clicking on blending options. Okay, let me see if I can move this aside. All right, yeah, all right, somewhere right here. Cause I like, this is awkward making it all fit. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is I brought up blending options and it says already the blend mode is soft light. That's, that's what we changed it to. So it picks up the colors with the highlights and shadows. But then down here at the bottom, we're going to play around with blend if. And what that means is it's basically saying, how do you want me to blend this color? Blend it if it looks like this. Like that's why it's called blend if. So what I want is I wanna see it in the shadows, but I don't really wanna see it in the highlights. So what I can do is I can drag this right hand uh, little icon. I can drag it in and everything to the right of it, it won't blend with. It basically says anything to the right, don't apply this. So for example, I can pull this in and eventually, see, see on her face? Slowly blending it off of the face. Slowly blending it off of the face. And so basically anything to the right of that, it's not applying to. Now the problem is, it's super not blended. <laughs> it's like blend if and this is not blended. This is yes or no. Um, so what we need to do is right now it's saying any tone that way, don't apply any tone this way do, but there's, there's no gradient. There's no, there's no blending, which is the point of this. So if you hold the alter option key and click on this little slider, what it does is it separates it. It divides it in two. And when you give it an area, it will blend between that area. So between those tones. So watch this, ready? Alt option key, I'm gonna click on it, splits it in two. And this is where I'm deciding how big that gradient is. If it's really small, it'll fade from a full effect to no effect very quickly. And if it's really big, it'll fade from no effect to full effect really gradually. So I'm gonna mess with it just a little bit. Let's apply this off, apply this off. So if you look at it, I gave it a pretty wide effect, but now it's not touching the highlights, but it is toning all the shadows. So I'll hit okay. And I can always back off my opacity. So look, her skin tones in the highlights stay the same, but it just tones the shadows. And then I can do the exact same thing to tone my highlights. So I'm gonna do it again, create a new layer, and we're gonna go with the Hollywood style. So I want uh, orange. We're gonna go on the opposite end of that spectrum maybe somewhere over here, I'm gonna do a teal and orange. So all, all I was clicking on was in my uh, color palette swatch in the bottom left-hand corner. So I just click on that and then I can, can grab the, the color. So I'm gonna grab my paint bucket and just fill that new layer. 
So it's the solid orange. And I'm going to change my blend mode again, because otherwise it's just going to be a color haze on top. I, I want to I see this color. So we're going to change the blend mode again to soft light. But again, it's applying to everything, and I just want it to the highlights. So when we right click, it gives me blending options. So I'm going to click, right click, get my blending options back up there. And then we're going to do the same thing, but opposite. Because I'm going to say, I don't want you to apply anywhere to the shadows. So I'm going to drag that into the left. So let's see what point. So look, at it's pulling it off the shadows, pulling it off the shadows, pulling it off the shadows. But then we've got that hideous line. I need it to blend more subtly. So I hold the Alter Option key. And then I decide how gradually it's going to fade in and out. So I can spread this out a little bit. And I, I mean, I kind of just drag it around and oh, hold on. there we go. And obviously, obviously it's way too strong. So it's, I hit okay. And then I'm gonna back off the opacity. You know, maybe somewhere to there. So here, so it's like 23%. So here's the before and after. Um, in the context of it just being a still frame, probably this strong of, of toning might not make sense, but a lot of times in dramatic environments, it works great. So. Blank layer, new layer, you fill it in with a color, change the blend mode to soft light, then you right click on it, you get the blending options, and then you drag those sliders to say what it should be applied to and not be applied to. And then you hit Alt Option to split it so you can decide how much it fades in and out of that effect instead of being an abrupt line. And so that particular one is called um, it's Solid Color and Blend If.